Two massive sellers, three absolutely mind-blowingly big buyers for Bitcoin coming into the space, along with the Ethereum ETF getting delayed by the SEC. That's what we're going to be discussing today, along with all of the news that you guys need to know. And things are looking a little bit shaky for the old cryptocurrency market. On a technical level, as you can see, we are on a downtrend as we speak for Bitcoin. We can see a little bit of ascending triangle forming right around here. And that probably means that we're going to have some sort of continuation as this is a continuation pattern from a downtrend. So it is likely that as we got rejected here, we could break through this, blip this into a resistance and then head downwards. That is just on a technical level. And that is maybe what we're going to see here. If you guys do want to trade the short term volatility of this, you can do so over on Margex. You can trade with up to 100x leverage. There is no personal details required whatsoever. So you can sign up to this exchange, trade with leverage and then jump off, take all your money off and there'll be no personal details required. So no KYC. But Bitcoin right now, I'm not too phased about this. Like I've been saying here on this channel, I expect us to have a move down to these regions here. At least we have the full 34,000 up to the 36,000. And I don't think that that is very bad. I don't think that's terrible. If we do zoom out on the weekly chart, we can see how much of a parabolic run we've been having on Bitcoin. And you can see this target for me right here is still bullish. We are still in very, very bullish territory. Even if we come down to $32,000 for Bitcoin, still a bullish uptrend right here, and it is playing in line perfectly with what happened back here in 2019. So that's all the technicals and the charts that I want to talk about. Remember, if you do want to trade them, Margex is waiting for you down there in the description. But with that said, all right, we have the Bitcoin, the not the Bitcoin, sorry, my, my bad, my bad, the Ethereum ETF application decision delayed by the SEC. So let's break this down a little bit more. So SEC defers the decision on BlackRock's Ethereum ETF application to March 10th for comprehensive assessment. The SEC has postponed its ruling for BlackRock's request to introduce a spot Bitcoin ETF until March. According to the filing, the SEC's website, the decision on BlackRock's application for the spot ETF initially scheduled for January 25th has been deferred to March 10th. The SEC filing explained that the commission deems it appropriate to extend the time frame for taking action on the proposed rule change, ensuring ample time for com comprehensive assessment of the proposal and the associated concerns. Like, of course, of course, we were going to get a delay. With or without the price action of Bitcoin, we were going to get a delay for the Ethereum ETF. They'll push it down the road just like they did with Bitcoin as far down the road as they can. We'll have so much volatility between then, but we are also giving the SEC fuel to the fire because of the price of Bitcoin. So this is going to be a little bit of a struggle. However, I do believe that the SEC will approve this because I don't think they really have a choice. And I think that will result in Ethereum's price going up, meaning I have quite a large position on Ethereum. I've been adding to that position. My recent buys of Ethereum have come down since then. But of course, I've been buying it since the lows. But my recent buys have come down. And guys, this is the key here. People will continually call me an idiot when the price goes down and I continue to buy on the way down. And then when it pops back up and then when it gets back to where I initially started those big purchases, I'll be in profit and everyone will think, oh, this guy's clever. It's just the market sentiment is just ridiculous. Get rid of the noise. Get rid of the noise. I think the Ethereum ETF is going to happen. Therefore, I'm positioning myself for that. You don't worry about that. Don't worry about Ethereum. Go find something else. Go find something else that you want to position yourself in and then ignore the noise. Imagine if you had been ignoring the noise throughout the last bear market, you'd be sitting on huge profits right now and this volatility would mean absolutely nothing, right? And you guys can do that if you smash the subscribe button and you let and you follow me along my journey with what I'm doing. On the same note, we have BlackRock CEO Larry Fink expressed his perspective in, the CM, in a CNBC interview noting the value he sees in having an Ethereum ETF. Fink emphasized that the approval of such funds represents significant steps towards tokenization. Larry Fink believes that we are going to go into a space of tokenization of real world assets on the blockchain. And this is the step towards that having an Ethereum ETF. And it makes perfect sense. Now, I don't really think that having these large entities in crypto is overall a great thing for what we wanted it to be, the decentralized nature. But if you want to make a little bit of money, I do think it's kind of good. The iShares Bitcoin Trust associated with BlackRock member has proven to be the most successful 
among the 10 circulating ETFs, having amassed 1.7 billion in assets under management. In fact, it's more like 1.8 billion right now, but we're going to get into that a little bit later on. So your hopes of the Ethereum ETF being approved anytime soon? kick down the road to at least March. So we're going to have to wait to see what happens there. Now, talking about these sellers, more sellers. Not only do we have Grayscale dumping another 12,000 Bitcoin to Bit, uh, Coinbase's OTC desk, but now we have the US files notice to sell 130 million worth of Bitcoin seized from Silk Road. Now, we've all known that this is coming, but now they are filing to do it. So it's going to be happening and the money and the and the Bitcoin and Bitcoin will be flooding the market again. But what we have to hope is that the buyers come in and they at least absorb the majority. Now, it's my opinion that we're actually seeing that right now with a move downwards since the ETF approval of around of around 18 percent. We have done a very good job of absorbing all of the grayscale funds that have been moving out of grayscale over to the Coinbase OTC desk. They have been being bought up by BlackRock and the other ETFs. And I think we're doing a very good job of this. And I'm actually quite happy with the price action. And I think this is just opportunities. We're getting opportunities for Bitcoin. We're getting opportunities for the altcoin market. And we're just going to have to get through this together. Now, just before we jump further into this video, I want to reintroduce you guys to Clio. And these guys will be being listed on MEXE in early February. They are already live on Bitmar. And to remind you, they're rewarding time and attention attention with tokenized goods. Clio enhances social and environmental impact by turning good deeds into digital assets through blockchain technology. They ensure transparency and undeniable proof of delivery, bringing the way social and environmental impact is created, recognized and recorded in the digital realm. They enable individuals and organizations to imagine creative and new ways to develop and showcase initiatives that generate revenue and make positive contributions to the world. They are going after a $50 trillion market market opportunities. Clio fixes a marketing challenge while embedding an ESG advantage, delivering a unique win-win-win model. So if you do want to learn more about Clio, I'm going to leave a link to their Twitter and their website down there in the description. And with that said, I told you guys that we have some big buyers, right? We have huge buyers. One of them, of course, is BlackRock. You know that already. They now hold 45,000 Bitcoin. But we also have Hong Kong's Bitcoin ETFs coming. Hong Kong's Venture Smart Financial Holdings is aiming to have its spot Bitcoin ETF operating before the end of Q1, targeting hitting 500 billion in assets under management by 2024 end. Additionally, 10 other firms are planning to launch a similar project. So money flowing in from the financial markets over in Hong Kong with their Bitcoin ETFs. BlackRock's Bitcoin ETFs. And guys, I don't know if you missed this, and this is a rumor, but this isn't something that I think is too crazy for these guys to do. So Saudi Arabia and Qatar rumored 1 million Bitcoin buy, which could come by next week. Now, I wouldn't bank on this happening in the next week, but this is information that you want to be knowing about. The two governments are rumored to be sizing up by buying around 1 million Bitcoin. The Qatari government was reportedly preparing for $500 billion investment into Bitcoin. Analyst Justin Virengina Virengina said that Saudi and Qatar's government rumored investment into Bitcoin will be announced next week. This is, of course, a rumor, but this could be absolutely huge news for the market. So we have things to look forward to. We have to stay unemotional in this space. You have to be positioned in projects that you believe in. So when we have downturns, you can simply dollar cost average and keep yourself unemotional. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.